Hey everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, <laughs> and it is getting later on the Friday, but Tim decided to just make everybody's Friday night by popping out some golf, so let's just get my fair use, and let's just get into this, because nobody really cares about Tim's golf, least of all me. All right, so just as obviously, you know, I'm going to transform this wonderful content as Tim uh, feels very um, main character today, and he's got a side character um, that he's going to be bringing along with him. So there we go. And uh, just as everybody knows, I am a registered nurse here in the United States. I have over a decade of experience. I am trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, and Tim is put, certainly pushing me to my limits in that field this week, and I <laughs> am not treating or diagnosing him. It's a speculative, and he's showing a lot of his mm, less favorable personality traits, I should say, today. So anyway, let's just make me small. I'm actually going to put him to 1.5. Uh, because it's golf and nobody cares, <laughs> least of all me, <laughs> because he's a terrible putter and he's a terrible, oh, I wanted to give a shout out quickly to uh, Otter Retirement, who did give me a, kind of a shout out because he did recognize that I had seen a video of Tim's and called him out for being a misogynist, but I didn't really kind of labor into the topic very much or defend women well enough, which obviously um, I'm a professional woman. <laughs> and so my thoughts of uh, sort of Tim's outdated thinking is obviously I'm not a fan <laughs> of it. Um, and I just think that you should never think that any type of job should be gender related, you know? I mean, there could be certain things that it seems that one gender is more in favor of doing that profession over another, but it doesn't mean that it's lim it should be limited, you know? Unless it's, you know, um, I guess <laughs> being an egg donor or something that you literally have to have the specific <laughs> biology. I had to really go out on the limb there. All right, Tim. Uh, just take it away. 1.5. Main character syndrome. Oh, let's just go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from Serbot Cliffs Golf Club, Kingman, Arizona. I'll be putting the microphone on. It's windy. It feels marvelous. I was going to leave today and go to uh, uh, Utah, to Cedar City. Uh, Cedar City. I'm going to Senior City. And uh, I'm uh, joined by John today uh, from Florida. Nobody finds those jokes funny, Tim. Somebody in my comment section asked me what a senior salad was. I have no idea. I'm sure it's some very uh, basic house salad that he calls a senior salad. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe you're dressing on the side. I'm sorry, I have an itch on my ankle. Um, but John... You know, love to John. We don't know the gentleman. He's being very patient with Tim here. He's, you know, look at me. You know, look how I live. I'm this great guy. Gosh, he's got some real sun tan on the neck there. Sorry. Um, and uh, he's been roped in to be Tim's cameraman today as he kind of gets through his uh, exhausting golf game. <laughs> <gasps> oh, this is video number 20 that I've done in in five days. So it's like four per day, but I'm sure he's spat out another because <laughs> he didn't get enough content out today. He's got to make up for the loss. Hopefully he's gone out to dinner with John and his wife and he's too busy to spit out more, which, you know, if John doesn't stay in town, we could have seven videos on a Saturday if Tim feels lonely. Seems like the lonelier is he is, the more videos we get. So, like, when he wasn't hanging out with John, and we, we got all that crushing it for Christ. We got uh, the long, you know, rant of the morning chat. We got the trying to drop off on the SS terrible advice. It's almost, it's almost a clickbait now, but people don't even click into it because it's just, they know it's just not worth it. I had very bad views. 
and I'm like trying to get mine about his SS to have more views than his. I mean, it's hard. People don't like commentary all the time. Just, it's just, and then he, you know, oh God, and then he spat off something else. 15 minutes in the heat. Then he met John, and then we've been getting low content today, which I'm grateful for. <laughs> but I feel like the minute one of them goes away, Tim will be spitting out content because he just, it's, it's a way to kind of, I think, cope with his, his loneliness, his inherent loneliness. Okay. Say hi to John, everybody. And he's going to be my videographer. We're going to go around. He's going to be riding in a golf cart. And here at the um, Serbat uh, Cliffs Golf Club, I called him and told him that I've been doing some uh, reviews of the club and I really enjoyed it. And I said, What kind of deal do you got? Because uh, I know I'm going golf now. You got a website. He said, Just come on in. Oh, for goodness. What sort of deal you got? I'm putting you out on my YouTube channel. Oh, God. Tim, do I really have to put this out here already? Already in? How many minutes have I seen you talking? Ah, 49 seconds. Goodness me, Tim. 49 seconds. Sorry, I've got an itch. I must have gotten bit by a mosquito. I apologize. You know who I'm going to have to bring out? My friend, my good friend, Judge Mathis. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have that dry begging. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, he was dry begging for a golf deal. <laughs> he cannot believe it. But are you on my YouTube channel? Be like me going around the city of Virginia Beach telling everybody I've stuck them on my YouTube channel. All right, let's keep going. I'll get you off. So let's go in and find Talking out. All right, everybody, here we are on number one tea time. I want to thank John again, my video for today, <laughs> uh, to give you guys some clips as we uh, show you as many clips as we can, try not to bore you, make it exciting. This is a par four uh, hole, and right down there is a fairway. John will show you. And um, I'm going to. Well, I hate to tell you, Tim, you're definitely going to bore us. <laughs> so I hate to break the news that rapidly, but bored. I will be. Hit it away with the driver. I've got a strong wind out here today. Mm. Sorry. So I'm just hoping to put it right down, the, right down there to the 200, inside the 200 marker. You can come back over here, actually, and they can see the ball oh, go. Oh, goodness. No, it's not for, for us to see the ball. Because nobody cares about your golf, Tim. So don't try to, you know, make out to John over here that you're like PGA Tim over here. <laughs> you got this, like, big golf following because you're so good because we're about to watch you putt mate and you're terrible you're a terrible putter you don't have the patience for putting it's just terrible probably never taken a lesson in your life um and uh don't be so bossy with your new friend and nobody cares the person who cares to see this is you you are the only person that when you go to you know circle jerk yourself and watch this on youtube <laughs> God, I'm feisty tonight. <laughs> then uh, you're going to be, it's not a medical term, okay? Circle jerk is not a medical term. But I feel that uh, uh, Tim here is wanting to see himself because he wants to analyze this game. And he wants to kind of be like, oh. I, I feel that his viewing would not be with a critical eye for improve. I mean, do you know what I mean? Come on, Tim. It's a vanity thing. <laughs> That's what I mean. Take it away, Tim. We want this done quick. That's and he pulls it completely left. It didn't sound good. But we can hit it again. Let's go hit it. In my way here. So I want to go over it so I don't get in trouble. And I'm just going to put it up there and hit it again. Hopefully I won't hit that tree. Anybody who plays golf knows when you drive off like that, if you don't hear that, clink, it was like the, 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 the very distinct sound of that or hitting the club in just the right spot. And it makes a very good sound. I heard that with one of Timmy's shots, actually. He was much better. Tim, mm, I don't hear it so much. You know, he's not a great golfer. Okay. I actually took lessons, Tim. I hate to tell you things like that. Oh, life, life on days. That was fine. All right, let's go hit it again, number three. Green, anywhere on the green is all I'm trying to do so I can putt for a par. Mm. I want to thank John again for helping me today. Mm. Bring you guys this excellent content. Uh, um, excellent, no. Boring, yes. Uh, John being bossed around, absolutely. Tim being a control feat, totally that happening as well. 
Who are you trying to convince it's excellent content? You don't get very many views for your golf, Tim. Nobody cares, only you. Okay, I said that five times already. All right, keep going, Tim. Go, go, go. Get up on there. Oh, my gosh, not enough. But it's on the green. Now we're going to putt it for two times, hopefully, to get a bogey, because that's very unlikely I'm going to make this par putt. No. Are we ready, John? Okay. So I got about 40 footer here, and these greens were very fast the other day. So let me, uh, I'm actually going to look at the hole, regardless of what people Pretty say. This looks good for me. Distance. You need to look at the hole. Oh, I need more than that. Now I got that. For did, he, did he say he's not really looking at the hole? What golf game were you playing? He was, comp I don't know. That was just a poorly paid, played shot. Oh, he's going to blame the wind, of course. He is not much of a golfer. The only thing I'm learning about your golf, Tim, is you're not a very good golfer. Not really. I mean, you do okay. For bogey. This looks like it's going to be a double bogey. Oh, my gosh. It's slower today. Yet. So, I, I mean, this is going to be a miracle. Put this in. Ball, Just pull the flag out. Throw it on the ground. Oh, for God's sake. And then I'll... Um, Try to put it in. If, if you, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this thing keeps flashing up. I got the laptop. And I'm, st I'm still stupid with this mouse on the thing. <laughs> so I apologize. <laughs> I don't hit the right oh. part and it comes up with this thing saying loop and I don't know. Anyway, don't boss the guy around. Take the flag out. There's this. I mean, for gosh, I I would not tolerate anybody who spoke to me in that way to 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 film a video for this nonsense content for a channel that's losing subscribers. After this man gave you a golf shirt, now you're out here like bossing him. It's so disrespectful to some. This gentleman is taking his vacation time. To hang out with you, I guess. Gosh, can you imagine that? You, I guess if you like this person's personality enough from YouTube that you're wanting to put up with being bossed, I wouldn't. <laughs> Promise you, my friends and I, that that would not fly. You know, you treat another adult in such a discourteous manner. I can promise you those friendships will not be lasting or hopefully they're a good enough friend to tell you you're a jerk. But I'm not your friend, Tim, but I'm going to tell you you're, in my opinion, acting like a jerk. This is terrible. I cannot believe this. What? Are you... Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm obviously just kind of initially speaking about it. I'm kind of reacting, but, you know, thinking about his personality type and this type of, I, it's just not something that's, um, I, I question why people would want to be, you know, surrounding themselves with somebody who's so bossy anyway. Get in there. Oh, he's right on line. Oh my gosh. All right. We got a double bogey folks. Ugh. All right, we got a double bogey, and now we're going to try. It's because you don't have the patience of putting. I, I don't know if you even measured how many feet from the hole and then obviously ensured that you were, you know, going back enough inches with your swing to go to the uh, hole. You're supposed to think for every foot, it's one inch back on the putter. So if it's 10 foot from the hole, then you should go back, your putter should go back about 10 inches on the swing. You're a terrible putter. <laughs> no patience. Hole number two. Didn't sound good. Faded right. Sliced it. See? The wind took it. Not a very good shot. No, it wasn't. I told you. I I'm over here in it. trouble. I uh, got trees all in front of me. I got a six iron. I don't have a club. Actually. Terrible. <laughs> There's rocks here. I'd use my driver. The driver is a great shot uh, to get this out of here. Uh, if I can move the ball, but I won't because there's rocks. I would no, use my driver because that would make it go a worm burner right through there. I'm afraid of hitting the tree and bringing it up, but I'm going to try and keep it down. Chip it out. Chip it. What are you doing? Uh, 
just tip it in. Now hit that tree. Point. Knocked it down. Bad luck so far today. Ugh. It's 100 yards right here. I got 100 yards. I don't know what you're trying I got to achieve. wedge. I'm just trying to put it on okay. the green. I should be on the green already, but this is my third shot. I'm just trying to. It's because he never took lessons. Doesn't he says he watches all these videos? What are you learning? I think he's lying about that. He watched two. I give myself a par putt. <laughs> the worst golfer. Oh. Way short. God. So we're close to getting it up there. This is terrible. This is for par. Crazy. All right, let's go putt it. See that white line they drew? So you don't go past. Uh, there's a reason why people watch just like the PGA and not just amateurs like you kicking it out. That's why, you know, you don't see just like crowds of people stood around just like the local golf courses watching, you know, you know, your friend down the road play golf. <laughs> you know, really, gosh. This is this gentleman's idea of content. And he's just, all I've seen is him boss that poor guy around. I like this shot with the two Tims. Very psychedelic. Just what I need. Yes, two Tims. Mm, no, thank you. <laughs> it's wearing me out. No, oh, terrible again. Jeez. That was for bogey. Looks like we got us another double bogey if I can even make it. Oh, for goodness. How many feet are you going to go back when you swing your putt? Double bogey. Finally. Six. <laughs> Worst call forever. Oh, God. Here we go. Let me hear it. Terrible. Sounded terrible. It's very, very it doesn't, it's not good. All right, as you can see, I hit it over here in the penalty area. Yeah. I'm going to hit it out. It sounded terrible. Back over to fairway. Not hit one good drive down the range yet. Not one. I haven't heard that sweet sound yet. All right, it's back out there in the fairway. That yeah, was a penalty. Yeah, but you just don't tink. I'm right, 125, 130 yards out. I got an eight iron. You don't make that tink noise that you're supposed to make. You're supposed to go tink. That's why you're slicing and just and blaming the wind. You're, the only wind I can hear is your, your windbag self, Tim. It's the only windbag I hear. We're getting you, better now. You are the windbag. All right, we got the sand shot here. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> My nose is twitching again. Sorry. There's the green right there in the. The flag, as you can see, I didn't do very well. It's Tim's lies that are making my nose switch about his golf game being excellent. That's a good shot. Ran out of coffee too, Tim. Terrible. <laughs> it was right online, folks. Ooh. Another double bogey. She could have. All right, we're on number four. I've gotten straight double bogeys. And the only reason I'm going to post this video is because I know I'm going to get some pars and maybe even a birdie today and redeem myself. But we don't edit around here, folks. And I want to Nobody cares. The only person, this guy having to deal with this today. Gosh, they, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're headed out to a different location because it's too hot by tomorrow. <laughs> John and his wife will be gone. I don't know. Maybe John's a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Because I would not, like I said, deal with somebody being this uh, controlling and focused on my needs and what I need and being probably not even worried about anything that John needs. Maybe Tim, I think Tim just thinks being in his presence and doing this for Tim is just such an honor. It's not Tim. It really isn't. You should have probably paid the guy with dinner, but you know, you took the free shirt. Apologize right up now because I'm kind of hyped up at a lot of that high octane coffee. Uh, I'm not showing a lot of patience with John. I'm like, stand over here, stand over here. But he's taking it with stride, and I again appreciate him very much coming out. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. You got the well, if you appreciate him, why don't you buy he and his wife a nice dinner tonight at a nice restaurant in town? So just hanging out by the RV in a parking lot. <laughs> or in the parking lot, I should say. Why don't you do something like that since he took the time to come out here and use his time to film this BS with you. Try not to use that language. But this. And I try not to be too passionate about what I really think about sometimes people's behaviors because obviously for professional reasons... <laughs> I need to still maintain a certain amount of decorum and professionalism, Tim. 
as I look at your character. But this, you know, is where I think for me it's problematic in how you relate and, and interact with other people is that this is somebody who has enjoyed your content, has come out, and once again, it's it's kind of what can Tim get out of these people? He's got a shirt. He's getting this guy to film for him. He got this guy to stay up late. He's got this guy, you know, you know, being bossed about the golf course. It's Tim's the main character. It's for Tim's channel. It's for Tim's monetization. And and I guess you know, and Tim obviously is aware that he's being very, very controlling and bossy in this situation and trying to smooth it over because he's going to want to play 18 rounds of, of, of golf. And there's nothing more tedious than watching somebody else, especially an amateur like Tim. It's not like he's out here watching, you know, some, you know, Roy McElroy or some big time PGA player out here. <laughs> no, no. It's Tim and your bossy, and he's not even going to buy the man dinner and his wife. No, no, that would be, he probably expects it the other way around. That's Tim, in my opinion. It's not very, not seeing good characteristics from him in my opinion all right keep going driver in his hand and um i don't want to hit you john so you might want to stand behind me Contact i'm gonna hit the ball that way <laughs> that's i-40 out there folks oh look here's some golfers in front of us let me hear how bad this drive is tee that up a little bit higher let me hear pink mm, sounds terrible gain you not know, keep the eye on the ball. He's got a terrible thing. Just he just tries to power the shot. Still short, but it's up there. That was an eight All right, so I'm way back here. This I'm is. I'm kind of watching him at uh, 1.5 because he's so like hybrid. It's like so perfect for his personality. Oh Jesus! How is he going to destroy this one? God, he's the worst golfer. A little bit much. Yeah. It's up there though. Just barely made the green. So I got this here for uh, par, right? This is my fourth shot. This is the best I've done so far. It's for par. You can pull that pin out. I don't know. Only only you know, Tim. Only you know if you have par or not. Only you know. <laughs> and nobody else cares. Maybe you and, you know, a thousand of your viewers. The rest are hate watchers, probably. <laughs> Oh my hey, gosh, I redeemed myself. Premium. All right, I'm just going to use this hybrid here. Although I got plenty of room uh, to use a driver. I got I got people coming behind me here. Oh God, you better keep, stop yammering and keep playing. Stop telling John what to do. Poor John. Free John. That's how the shot I hit all day, right down the middle. Uh, all right, so. Uh, that's why I always play with my hybrid five iron. Because I promise you, sometimes it would give you the best shots. You gotta be good with the driver, man. You better be spot on with the driver. <laughs> Sometimes you get far further with a hybrid iron than a bad driver shot off the tee. Sorry, Junebug. This is not a bad position uh, for two. This is my third shot on the green. I'm gonna try and chip it up there. He puts it in almost. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that would have been a nice birdie. Mm. So here we go. Is he going to do all 18 holes? It's okay, sweetie. It's just Tim playing golf. I'm going to call my dog. What did I say I'm not going to do? Okay. But I'm on the green. I think I'm over because it's rolling. All right, this is a par three. He didn't hit it. Worst golfer in the world. Yes, I agree. <laughs> That's the only truthful thing he said. Look at that. Bogey. No patience. Four or three. I don't I don't I don't know if you are 
trying to be quick because you know it's really unfair on this gentleman that he's out here and filming this nonsense of your golf or you're just not a patient person anyway and uh you know that's probably why you wouldn't have wanted to work many hours because that's a dedication of time that i don't think that you exhibit wanting to give things it's why you go quickly through personas cowboy tim you kind of mentioned him but you're not been out in a cowboy hat recently tim it's all golf hats it's it's and you you know move through them quickly it's interesting to watch <laughs> But boring at the same time, if you know what I mean. This is the uh, first par five on the front nine. And I got a foursome in front of me. I'm just kind of letting them move up a little bit before I hit. Because I've got a lot of wind in my back. I should be able to hit it a mile if I hit it. And I'm going straight over that bunker down there where that big tree is on the left. I'm going straight over it and away. I should be able to hit it now. You might want to so you can see the ball go. <sighs> Because, uh, you know, John wants to be hit by a golf club. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to be stood behind you with you swinging a club. You think about that, Tim? Probably not. <laughs> it's all about Tim. Yes, yeah, Tim back. Oh, Terrible. It sounds bad. Didn't sound good. A little bit left was down there. Mm -hmm. See? No, great off the drive. No, it's slightly better on the green. That's good. No, on this way, actually, slightly better. Hope I don't put See? it out there in forty. <laughs> <laughs> I played for a while. I've not had the um, luxury of money for it now. <laughs> I would right down that would be out of my price. That'll work. <laughs> Graduate school is very expensive. <laughs> Very worm burner 150 from the uh, hole. Here we go. Seven iron. I don't know if you and anybody else feels the same as, as I do, that you just want him to be done. <laughs> and I'm sure when I upload this, he'll have uploaded another part of the golf or something else will be. I'll be shocked. Um, I mean, it's still early. He still has time to pop something out, a Walmart video or one of his. Oh, my gosh. Just. I hope the golf kills his channel, to be honest. Honestly. He's such a poser, as we say in England. He's a just he's a just a poser. Just short. Just All right, part five. I was short. Everybody likes to blow the horn and come down to 40 to try to mess you up. <laughs> All right, bossy pants. Pants on, Tim. The pants are on today. It's up on top of the hill. Roll, roll, roll. Not too bad. John's doing a better far. job with the camera than you usually do, Tim. I have to say he's a better cameraman. Ah, oh, just tell him. This is what this poor man got to spend his day doing. But maybe in his mind he thinks he's, you know, helping out this big YouTube star. John, he's not, honestly. <laughs> He's somebody who's started. I know that other channels are like, oh, there's so many people making content about Tim. I promise you, once people start to find out that there's somebody worth reacting to because they're so problematic, other people will come in. So don't be scared. You know, it's just actually it could it does it it, it could be bittersweet or it could go other way, you know. Tomorrow I'm back doing one of my usual uh, creators uh, from the, you know, community I usually react into because they've been missing me. They want me back a little bit. Not that I'm ever leaving Tim, but don't ever feel like there's, there's never enough of us because the more there are of us, the lower Tim drops down that algorithm. 
And it means that it impacts his terrible content at the end of the day. So it actually helps to start bringing in the Tim content. So don't ever feel like we're overdoing it. If we really want to try to impact his views and actually, you know, call attention to the problematic behaviors and this type of stuff, bossing his subscribers around. I would be so embarrassed if I had a subscriber, somebody who takes the time to watch my content and therefore it means that I'm making monetization and then I'm out here just bossing this person around. It would be, I'm very empathic. So I cry at the drop of a hat about stuff. Tim does not bring out my empathetic side at all, which is hard for me not to have. I got this for par. Oh, the wind is really howling, but it's super comfortable out here today in Kingman. Blistering hot down there in Laughlin. All right, folks, this has got to go in the hole for a par. Nope. All right, got a bogey. I knew it. Absolutely. Not even going to finish it off. Okay. Why? Because he knew he'd miss it again. So I the bogey. That's how you hit a golf ball. Is it? No. That's how you hit a golf ball. Oh. Debatable. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my chair, my... Got this cushion that's very itchy. I apologize. Very Which hot is... mess tonight. <laughs> Where is it? Anyway. Sorry, I'm going to fix something while Tim plays this. <laughs> so uncomfortable. Sorry. Drilled it. <laughs> I mean, I absolutely drilled it. You know there now. No. I apologize for that moving around. I purchased like a seat cushion to go, like it was like a memory foam one to go into this um, chair I sit in just to help make it a little bit more comfortable. And uh, for some reason, they made the material super itchy for the cushion. Like it's so itchy. And so I have to have this like Chanel type blanket over, you know, so that if I'm wearing shorts or a dress or anything, I, I'm not itching. I don't know why they would make it. It's Ikea. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Need I say more? But wow. it's very itchy. It hurt. My nose tonight is itchy too. Guys, it's talking about itchy. <laughs> Let's see how he messes this one up. Ah, <laughs> I didn't tell you. Probably not I haven't up. seen it. But he's that win? Not near enough. Oh, yeah, That's why it went round. Excuse me. I knew the wind was going to play a problem for me. The only thing that we're seeing is what a bloody awful golfer Tim is. So, well, at least we get that pleasure. Because you're terrible. Keep going. God, I need this done. Starting to give me like fever dreams, Tim. <laughs> this is my fever dream. Eight iron didn't even reach it. Uh, mm. the, the landscape's not. Nice. I've been doing wrong all day. I mean, you close to my ball after I know. hit it. Obviously, none of that grass is natural to the to the area. You know, it's a great use of, of, it takes a great deal of resources. It's not a great use of all resources, in my opinion, for, you know, if we really all needing to monitor our use of, you know, water. But, you know, Tim wouldn't care about that because he wants to be in a big old truck and a golf course because he earned it. He earned that free money and this lifestyle. He's earned it, everybody. He's earned it. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Ugh. It's the giggle. It's the giggle that kills me. God, let's see how it destroys this shot. I actually sounded half decent. Smoked it. 
Oh, time out. That's my ball. to warm up, I guess, a little bit, but he's still terrible. It's going to be a good shot. It's, no, it's not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just playing. Just one. God, I hope we do it. Perfect. Oh, God. The way he grins, perfect. He's just... Poor John. He didn't play golf. I don't know. That was a good shot. Nice and high. Flop now. Maybe John plays tennis. Did we ask John what his hobby is that he'd like to do? One. Have we asked John what he'd like to do? Oh, God. He's actually a decent camera. But, Tim, you are obnoxious today. I'm just saying. God. Oh, my. Tim is just Two. out of control. See you All right, everybody, we just played 18 holes. Uh, Mr. John here. I want to thank him again for uh, videoing me. Uh, oh, my God. He did take that man mill. 18 holes. Couldn't have just done nine. You took the man around 18 holes of golf. Somebody who doesn't play golf. 18 effing holes of golf. Are you serious? <laughs> and I play golf. And sometimes I can't even tolerate 18 holes. <sighs> it's a long time on the course, Tim. Especially the way you were effing up your game. <laughs> God. Did you buy the man lunch? Did you offer him dinner? Did you pay it forward with a coffee? I know he gave you a shirt, but what have you done for John? Is it just your presence? This is what's so kind of questionable about your personality to me, Tim, is that you very much are somebody who take it, takes advantage of people, uh, and your subscribers particularly. Sorry, my eyes are very itchy. You get these contacts. If he loads another video, I'm going to be in glasses. I got to get these contacts out. You can see they're irritating my eyes. They've been in for a while. I was waiting for this remarkable content, and then when I saw it come up, I was having to 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 get a cup of coffee and pull myself together so I could tackle Tim's terrible golf games. But now I just see him being Mr. Bossy Pants. Mm, I'm going to call you Bossy Pants Tim. Be just a few clips bossy because we had a lot of people out here today that were uh, kind of pressing us. And so we had to just you know, make a few clips. But we'll put something together for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Mr. John oh, over there. Thank and, you, uh, John. If you're interested in this area. Man. Are you serious? So not only did you drag this poor man out and you're bossing him around, you're affecting, and they're probably he's being loud out there too. I'm. Oh, my God. I'm so glad that there were people there. I feel like otherwise we could have had the full 18 holes clips. You've got 21 minutes of you just pontificating about how great and bad or whatever your golf game is. Oh my Lord. He almost looks like upset that, you know, these, you know, how dare other people, you know, after he's advertising Sabat Cliff's golf club, you know, and he needs to go get himself a deal at this pro shop so he can play on the green. So he can, you know, as he shows up with some other golf clubs hat on. <laughs> in Kingman, um, Sabat Cliff's golf club. They're very nice in the golf course in the uh, clubhouse here in the pro shop. And they'll hook you up. I think they got deals from $25 to $50, depending on the time of day. Look on golfnow.com. Check on their website. They come out and see them here. It's a very fun course. Beautiful, well-kept, beautiful homes out here on the side. And we definitely crushed it. Oh, you did not. Please, you did not. You did not crush it. I'm going to tell you that's a lie. <laughs> and that is a... And it's only one person you can no, tell you. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how Judge Mathis wanted to say that twice to you, Tim. <laughs> but just going to the pro shop like that, it's just, and then at the end, he's thrown in about the cost, and he does such a terrible job. I can't believe he was upset because other golfers were there playing. That's how that golf club makes its money. And then he dragged that subscriber around, his new friend John, poor John, bossed the crap out of him. I'm sure he's not buying him dinner. I'm sure he's doing nothing to thank this man for the generosity of his time and patience as Tim brought a non-golfer out for 18 holes. 18 holes golf. Didn't even have the 
decency to cut it down to nine. He's very selfish, very entitled, very selfish. I'm not a fan of those traits when it comes to seeing personalities. All right, guys, this has gotten too long. Let me just say, if you did enjoy my tired content today, tired and tired and tired, please hit the subscribes. Uh, we're growing and I appreciate it. I know people are like, oh God, more Tim. Yeah, Tim. And uh, I keep meaning to add blind views. I need to update this. I'm sorry. Tired from the Tim. I need to update. All right. But he knows he's on the list with a shout out. So I just want to make sure that I thank everyone for their support. They're wonderful. <music>